Action! When I first read the script, I really liked the fact that it did feel like something that really could happen. And then I liked the challenge of playing a person who does have this anger inside them and sort of acts out. Come on. Pow! Oh, man. This is not good. She's basically an unexpected villain, so that was something very different for me that I was really excited about. I'm a police officer, trust me. I know what I'm doing. My character in this film has no conscience. All these things that she discovers along the way, she might not feel those things uh, normally <laughs> or, or, or be aware of them necessarily. Maybe it's just the audience that's aware of them. It's very messed up. She's very dark, at, you know, it turns out in the end of the story, but you don't suspect her at all. So that's why Noel thought I might be appropriate for it because he wanted someone who looked very you know, unexpected, someone who looked very innocent and nice and and someone that could be trusted, you know, just, just from the exterior. And, and that's sort of the type of character I generally play, a very sweet, you know, trustworthy, friendly person. Noel and I did get a chance to talk uh, before I came up to Canada to start shooting, and um, we mostly talked about the overall tone of the film and the character of Kate. We, we basically read through the scenes, which is what Noelle likes to do, and just kind of make sure everybody's on the same page, which is exactly what I like to do. I don't really like to uh, get, you know, break the scenes down too much before you get on set because then it can feel a bit choreographed. So it's better to sort of have a little bit of freshness, you know, when you're finally on set. Action! When he sort of sets up a shot and tells me what he wants in a scene, he's, he's very to the point, which I like. I don't. I don't like discussing things too much, especially if it's a very sort of natural series of events that you know doesn't require a lot of embellishment. So we just basically agree on what the shot is, what's important, that we see her frustration, or that we see you know her her move very deliberately, or you know there's usually one or two things that he really needs, and then I just try to you know add something else to give it some texture, but really concentrate on you know, the most important things for the story. Police! Turn off the engine and step out of the vehicle. I was lucky enough to get to spend some time with a real uh, policeman here in, in Quebec. And he you know, very meticulously sort of took me through my scenes and, and told me, you know, what would make it look more realistic. And I had to sort of tap into my own <laughs> aggression, which it's, it's buried pretty deep. I'm not a naturally angry or aggressive person. Sometimes I'll do boxing when I work out, and so I went to a boxing gym and tried to sort of um, tap into something. And, and it was very helpful, actually, because really, more than anything, it ended up being rehearsal for specific scenes that I had to do. So just through the practice of it, I felt more comfortable the more we did it. Working with Laurent is really fun. We We... I think we get along pretty well considering that I don't speak French and he doesn't speak a lot of English. So we, we're basically just, we communicate with like facial expressions and gestures and you know, the little bit of, of the, the language we don't speak that we, that we have. So, um, you know, it's kind of interesting because the two characters that we play don't know much about each other at all. I think they have like, two conversations where they get to know each other a little bit and you know it's apparent that they like each other and then they have this sort of brief affair before things go wrong and um but you know the, the whole film takes place in a, in a short amount of time so the characters actually wouldn't know each other all that well but i like working with them it's been good so far